G'day boys, it's your boy Never Forgetting Mums for Skeddy. In this video we're going to be talking about Killjoy setups on the A bomb site on the map Ascent. For a nice little uh, normal setup usually that I like to do is just put your bot up here and put your nano swarm just a bit far away from the exit around this way here because the bot only starts to ping people when they start coming out of the tunnels here. So when they do that you can pop it and they're going to take a large chunk of damage to force out and try and take the site with the smokes and flashes. If not, they just have to delay and wait for the 5 seconds and fall back to the wards of the choke. Placing swarm grenade. And then you can even elect to have your second Ana Swarm here, Placing swarm grenade. which is just solely to stop the plant. Because a lot of people just love to plant on a normal gen swat here like so. And you know, that delays the plant, does some damage as well. And depending where you're playing, so if you're playing like a retake towards up in heaven, that's probably great to have it. But if you're playing more towards site and actually holding down the site, I'd love to put my actual other nano swarm towards garage. I mean tree room, sorry. This is solely because when people go press the button, you can activate the trap as well as if you're getting split. If your short play has been taken down, you're gonna be fighting, you're gonna be fighting two angles here. So normal like execute type would be like they're throwing smokes, they're flashing in, bot goes off, like this. You maybe get a peek, get a kill, something like this. They're coming through the tree room or they come out of main and you know the first two people or whatever go around this way to clear gen and then they go to close the door and then you hear that sound cue and you can pop that out as well and peek probably get maybe you get a kill maybe even two depending on what you're doing but that's a pretty easy kind of setup for you a more close kind of position setup is placing your turret on this on this bad boy right here and this will shoot and notify if anyone pushes up towards short just like before if your cat player dies or he's playing passive towards tree room it will notify him as well and this is for playing towards more like this kind of position here because your bot actually does ping people when they push like here so if people are coming out and clearing like this they're gonna get notified by this and this is your perfect opportunity just to peek in pre-fire potentially get a kill and whatnot and then you can fall all the way out so with your nano swarms what i like to do with this kind of setup with the bot Let's place one here as well because if you're playing in this corner and they're splitting towards A, you have your bot up there and say, let's say it pings one here, you get a kill and then it pings another one down there. So you're going to have to fight here as well as now swarm that to fall out and fall back to back site or somewhere and wait for your team to rotate and help you out. All right, for another setup is more of a passive type setup for if you have an operator or something you're playing towards heaven is just place your bot down here and under back. This is for to get the ping notification. And then you just want to put your cam here. And then a swarm there. And just like we had before. But you can put this one a bit more into like as the bio phase wall is kind of like right here. You can put it a little bit more deeper, like so. Because when you come and play heaven, you'll be most likely all well, I hope you're all being on this sign. You're taking a risky kind of battle with a rifle. So your bot's like on directly on this line right here. So you can just hold like a line like this. Then your bot gets pinged, you peek out, shoot, get a kill. And then you can even elect to re-peek if you want, but you most likely will be smoked off. So that's when you can nano swarm, you know, peek through the smoke, and then fall back, and then reposition yourself back towards tree and wait for your team to rotate. As well as you have the, the camera bot here. So this is just to do more damage and slow down the enemy team because that will ping anyone going towards, like from A main towards the door. So if they're coming out like this, they're clearing like this, so boom, or like this, you know, come in and they, they get pinged like this. And then from heaven, hopefully you're still alive and if you haven't died, you can ping this. This delays them from clicking the button and closing the door, as well as doing more damage for people going towards site. You can either have that like this, or because you're playing retake, you can put one right here like so. And then when they go for the plant, you can ping that, delay the plant, do some more damage. It's entirely up to you and how you want to play around it. This is just different little... You know ins and outs and different places you can put your stuff depending on what you're trying to do so if you're wanting to help your teammate push aggressive AMA with the nano swarm i found this cheeky little lineup with the nano swarm you come right here towards the end of like this line here it doesn't have to be really specific as it's you know the aoe does does most of the job and you just come look at this cloud like here and you see like kind of the detail like fades in and out you just want to pop it about right there Thank God the sky doesn't move or this would be an annoying as fuck lineup to do. It does take a little bit to land, but then it lands right here in the middle. It stops people from picking this angle right here and that traps people in here so you can help your teammate fight that. And you know, you can position himself here or he can creep up all the way. So yeah, that's a cheeky little lineup just if you want to help your teammate push aggressive A main. 
Now the setup is placing your bot like here. This mainly focuses on short as well as tree room. So if they're say you could play, you could probably rotate off the setup and just really like retake it from here. Put your nano swarm up like so, and then just place your cam a bit further out because they can really see this cam if they're walking out. So you want to make sure it's a bit further away. You probably do a bit further to be honest. A bit further like this, and then you put your nano swarm a bit closer like this, like that. So then that camera goes off before they can even hear or see your nano swarm. So for this, you can either play on site with it, but mostly this is good just to set it up and then just rotate towards mid or maybe short if you're doubling up short or if your team's getting really hammered on B, you can just leave it and then rotate. Because then what happens is the bot will ping towards anyone pushing short. But if your camera does go off first, that means they're pushing out main. So if the camera goes ping, now they swarm it out, stops from pushing out. And then you have your bot as like the second line of defense as well. If they're not splitting towards A short, they'll come up and then you get pinged as well. And you just go from there. So for a pistol round setup, I usually always elect to buy light armor and two nano swarms, solely because they're so powerful with the current meta with Killjoy. So what I want to do is I put my tire right here, and then I put my nano swarm right here, and I always hold on to one just in case I need to rotate. It's really powerful to clear out backside on B site. So what I do is I'll sit around in this box maybe, and then wait. For my drone to take first contact and then i'll be jiggling and fighting this corner i wouldn't always swing to a main because if they're hard pushing a you're going to be swinging into probably three four guys all looking at you at once you're not going to be able to win that fight so i usually try to take these angles see the reason i put the bot here though is that it allows the people on a to creep up so if they're trying to walk out it allows them to creep up all the way here giving me the advantage on them to peek when they get noticed by the bot but also, it is a downfall that if they do rush you, you don't have much utility to defend yourself. You're just going to have to trust on your aim as well as your positioning. And the reason I put my nano swarm there is that if I do, if I am getting pushed, I can pop this. But when if I rotate off the site, I still have the nano swarm there. So if they rotate back to A site after pushing mid and B, I have my nano swarm to push. So if they plant, it delays the plan as well. But it also stops them from pushing my gen when I'm holding it. So I'll be fighting this. And then I can hear them pushing all the way here. I can pop that and I know they're not going to be coming all the way up here and pushing me here because the nano swarm's going to stop them. So then I can keep fighting around this side here before the nano swarm goes and then I'll have to fight two angles at once. A nice little passive passive retake on A for pistol round is just putting your bot back on A around here and then putting your nano swarm probably in the same spot. You can elect to mix it up and maybe put it around here and whatnot, but Usually what I found is when people come around here and clear this, they usually hear this a lot more than they hear this one here. And it's a lot uncommon place to just go check here as well with the swarm. So that does a lot more, you know, area damage. But if they're going to plant right here, they get damage, they can just fall back. But if you have a nano swarm here, what it seems like to me when you go to plant, they get damaged, you go, oh crap, and they fall back, but they're falling back into the nano swarm instead of running forwards. So they're just like panicking to get out of it. But yeah, so you have your bot under here and then you can play towards heaven or play double short with your teammate and then you can rotate back into heaven for the retake so you can come double short with your friend now for a little special setup that i like to do when we're on an eco is just place your bot like right here doesn't have to be too you can put it a bit a bit more back if you want so if you, you know if you might die you might want to put it back like here so you can watch tree room for any for any of your teammates but you want the bot to take first contact and just hold really close with the shoddy so when they're coming to clear it they see the bot like this and it alerts them and they won't they won't see you yet and you just swing get a kill or you know get two fuck it might as well kill the whole team if you want but this is what i like to do on eco 200 dollars for the shoddy and you're guaranteed mostly a kill unless you get really unlucky with the rng of the bullets but usually you end up getting one kill then instantly traded or you may get two depending on uh how you're feeling you know Anyway, this is uh this has been your boy Never Forgetting Mum's Muschetti. And uh hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Fucking mwah. Full heart like a land old magic, pull out the team, call me go, go gadget. It's A double Z A, but my name's not Aaron Rubai, never savvy like hatchet. hatchet. Talking like you're off and you're moving, but be no that you ain't sacking. Ain't trapping, don't know why these men are talking rough and I got no backing. Yeah. I right, let me jump back in, let me chat it, but I can't back it. Feeling when I try to go around on the mic, there, man, I get scared, but I'm at it.